back in 2002, you meet uh, Laura Javon. I guess uh, you, know, you were playing for the Warriors and she was uh, in the PR department for the Kings. You guys end up having four kids. But at one point, things started to go kind of kind of left. <laughs> right? <laughs> you kick her out of your house. All the time. Yeah. And uh, I guess it first started in terms of like when it started to hit Vlad TV's radar. Uh-huh. Was that I guess you sold her one million dollar engagement ring, and I guess you said that she was wearing a fake ring the whole time. She when you kept the real yeah. ring. I was smart, baby. <laughs> I'm in the safe. <laughs> she sued you over that. Uh huh. And what happened with that lawsuit? Oh, she lost. And listen, listen, listen. I'm the Mayweather of that court shit. <laughs> you know and I mean, she lost every every battle. Right, because it keeps going. At one point, you put a cinder block through her Mercedes, which is actually your Mercedes uh-huh, that uh-huh. you bought. <laughs> Uh-huh. And I guess you went on the internet. You said, uh, TMZ will be posting this tomorrow. I'm going to break the shit before they do. In March 2014, she came to my Calabasas house and broke every single window. So I decided to show her that I'll break my own shit before she does. Yes, TMZ, both cars are mine under my name. When someone breaks 34 windows, it's do you, Brody. <laughs> but when you toss your number three monitor, monitor computer in the pool, you're like, hell, motherfucking not. So that oh, happened. yeah, because I fucked my Netflix up and I couldn't watch Netflix. Yeah, you couldn't watch. I yeah. guess it was all over Netflix. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And then, okay, so Go ahead. what ends up happening is we break up, Yeah. right? I buy a house, the house she wanted, but she don't know I bought it. Okay. So we broken up and I'm living in this house that she doesn't know I'm living in. So I guess when she got wind of it, mm-hmm. that's when she came over and started destroying shit. Right. And I guess at one point, uh, she told the media that uh, you slept with her sister. You gave her multiple STDs. Um, I guess was that when she claimed that that Drea's baby was yours uh-huh. or, or something like that. Uh-huh. And you filed a three million dollar defamation lawsuit against yes. her. <laughs> Fuck the yeah. mother of your four children. Fuck that <laughs> <laughs> shit, crazy as shit. Trying to mess up my pussy action on her. Uh, no, no. So. You went on the internet. You said, all my ex had to do was apologize and tell the public she lied about me fathering Drea's son. I had sex with her sister in 2002, but we met in 2003 and had four kids. What the fuck? Shaking my damn head. Retarded and giving her an STD. I guess looking like a victim to a bunch of Hollywood celebs. That was more important to her. Now she has to pay my lawyer fees and me and damages around $3 million in real life. Ha, ha, ha. I would brag all day, but when you're 26 and 0 <laughs> in court, it's pointless. She's the MVP of faking for the gram. Yeah. And then my favorite one, you said, in real life, my ex will have to work at Hoochie Burger <laughs> every day for 100 years at 12 bucks an hour with a 10-hour shift to pay that judgment off. Yeah, I had to do the math. I had to do the math on it. Okay, so I guess she went back to court and said, okay, there's no possible way I could pay $3 million. So they lowered it to 110000 Yeah, so I was doing, so, okay. So when you go through, if, if you listen to Hollywood, it's the it's the Hollywood like cocktail of breaking up. Like you know, you break up the 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 female always wants full custody. Then they do the whole um, uh, what restraining order. You know, they try to do the restraining order to keep you away from the kids so they can say they have full because it's all about time. You know, the more time they get, the more money they get. Yeah. Um, so that's what all of it starts with. You know, it's time. It's, you know, the more time they give me time, that's less money. So if you want the money, you have to try to prove, you know, all these things. So when I filed my defamation, you know, there's key words you use to boost money up. Mm-hmm. You know, can't sleep, nausea, depressed, throwing up, all that. I didn't want to use those words because th- that's not actually how I feel. Mm-hmm. You know, it's, you know, I don't, I don't feel that way. So I'm not going to lie and try to use words that just really doesn't fit. Now, I, the, the point is I don't care about her money because she don't have none. Right. You know, she don't have three million. So the has fact- she, Has she ever worked while you guys got together after you guys started having kids? No. Not, not real worked. jobs. So there's no point of me really just using all these dumb words. Like it's it's really more funny to me. And I'm really trying to prove a point that, yo, I didn't give you no STD. I didn't sleep with your sister. I didn't father Dreas. That's that's all. Like why, you, like you just go out there and just say shit. Like you just go out there and purposely say shit, you know, because you're 
on Instagram more popular than me at this point. So mm-hmm. all I can do is just defend myself. So, you know, it was more about proving a point that, yo, hey, ladies, listen, hey, everybody out there, I beat her. She lost. Now she owes me for this dumb shit she said. 